Abel Sanchez here. He trains Tavoris Cloud, who fights Saturday night. He fights Bernard Hopkins at the Barclays Center in New York. And right before the camera started rolling, he made a uh, ball joke. But I still like this guy. I still like this guy. Uh, so, Cloud, he's 17 years Hopkins uh, Jr. Uh, but you expect him to prevail through what? Is it strength? Is it speed? Is Hopkins old? Abel Sanchez, how does Tavoris Cloud beat Bernard Hopkins? Tavoris Class beats him because he's a better fighter now than Hopkins is now. Hopkins maybe 20 years ago was a, a very, very good fighter, uh, going to be in the Hall of Fame. He's a legend. But at this stage, Tavoris is uh, not only younger, but uh, faster and stronger. You know, I, uh, and this is your first fight with Cloud. When, when you got him, what did you think of him and has he improved? And give us a, a little look at what he brings to the table. Uh, when he first came to camp, he was a uh, kind of fighter, and, and also in watching tapes, he was complacent. He just uh, he stopped doing the things that uh, made him good. He just doing re repetitive, repetitive on, in his combinations, repetitive in his workouts, and uh, just didn't do the things that a champion does to get uh, better and better every time out. Uh, but uh, to my surprise, uh, uh, he never complained one bit. Uh, he did everything we asked him to. He trained uh, along three other world champions in camp and uh, had a great time, really, and worked hard. Okay, and you do know champions. You trained Terry Norris, big in the late 80s into the 90s. He fought one or two uh, older champions, too. Any of those bouts come to mind? Well, 22 years ago, we came here to New York, uh, fought at the Garden. Terry Norris fought Ray Leonard. Uh, and Terry. Most of the experts didn't give Terry a chance. Uh, he wasn't uh, he wasn't old enough. He wasn't smart enough. He wasn't fast enough. And if you recall the fight, uh, there's some people in the audience behind me in the eighth round who were yelling to stop the fight because he was going to hurt Ray Leonard. He ended up uh, beating him with by 12, 13, 14 points. So I expect the same thing to happen to Hopkins on Saturday night. Ouch. Ouch for Bernard Hopkins. We shall see. We're going to see how it plays out. Abel Sanchez, thanks for talking to the Boxing Channel. Thank you very much.